hello and welcome to snowy and frigid oak creek wisconsin we're here at one of the newest electrify america charging stations in the state of wisconsin it is not the newest though we just got the notification that the one over in howard wisconsin up by green bay opened last night or the night before both of these charging stations have been in the works for two years this one here has been open for a month now technically five weeks if you're being very technical here all of these are 150 kilowatt chargers um, and we are going to DC fast charge my 2019 Bolt EV for the first time. Now I purchased the Bolt back in March of 2023 if you've been following the Midwest EV channel for a while. We haven't done too many videos with it primarily because it's my commuter car. So my commute from downtown uh, Milwaukee to West Dallas is about 15 miles. We did officially just move into our new house. So we moved to Cudahy, Wisconsin, which is just south of downtown Milwaukee. We do not have our level two charger installed quite yet. We are getting Q-Merit set up. They have finally approved our spot and we have to schedule that now. Uh, we are planning to purchase the charge point home charger. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, seeing how we get it installed, kind of how we went through the process of deciding which at home charger to install, definitely subscribe to the channel because we are planning to document the entire process. So with that, it is currently negative three degrees Fahrenheit here uh, with a real feel uh, wind chill of negative 22. We really wanted to get the bolt charged up right now because I am under 40%. Actually, I have 22 miles on my guest meter. The, based on the My Chevrolet app, I have about 23% um, left. <laughs> Big salt truck coming through here. <laughs> uh, we'll give it a second. <laughs> <laughs> so it's important that we need to charge the bolts up because I do have to leave for work tomorrow. We also have the Volkswagen ID4 back in our garage at home. It's at about 60%. So Rai is just going to plug it in with the level one charger that we have at home. We're going to get a uh, zippy here charged up. We have a max speed of about 50 kilowatts. Um, you can see the power Tesla is coming next to us because EA so conveniently decided to put a charging station right next to a Tesla supercharger. Uh, so you'll see those coming every once in a while. I was really, really hoping that my first DC fast charger would be on a Tesla supercharger with this car, but we're about a few months too short. I haven't gotten an adapter yet. So we're going to come over here to our stall. Get my nice charging cap, which is so much better than the ID4. You can at me in the comments. I agree. The ID4 is freezing. <laughs> it's horrible. It's this absolutely horrible. This We're is gonna better. Open my flap. I don't. I think the only time we've ever opened this was to check to make sure at the dealership. You know why yours is better? This is rubber. Mine's plastic, so it freezes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not also, wearing gloves, by um, the way. But <laughs> it, it tells me in the car if this is left open, even though. Yeah, yeah. I always drive. A, I always drive away with my charging cap open, and it's really annoying. That could use a reminder. That's a that's a user error thing, but that would be nice to have. All right, so we are going to head over this way. I'm gonna have Arai activate the charger. Well, plug in first. That's oh. what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Yo, you see, you haven't done this. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Three bolts here, two mocks. Oh, oh yeah, these cables are. Did we decide heavy. to be? Yeah. I don't think it's in. Oh, this handle's already cracked. Oh yeah, this charger yeah. just opened a month ago, and look at that. I can't even release it. Okay, we need a switch. All right, here. Let because it's like, I'm gonna... I can't well, release is, it. The this button. This is a good example of what this looks like. I've been swapping my hands between my pockets. Yeah, okay. I feel it too, especially the charger yeah, is yeah, cold. Yeah. Well, that, that's why I have two gloves. See, Tesla's, oh, jeez. This is really stuck. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's take a look here. See what's going on. Okay, we got it out. So that's Do you good. want to try plugging it so in? See, is this, this okay? Okay, yeah, everything's this looks fine. fine. This looks fine. I think it's just it's the cold. top is just cracked. Let's take a look inside. I think I think it was just cold. Yeah, you have a I didn't adjust it very uh, well. 
Maybe let's try the other handle. Yeah, I don't like that it's not like doing. It's okay, JK, yeah, so switch. I don't know what's going on. See. It's already too cold. It's not lasting. So that's kind of a good. I think we should be able to reach this one around. One of my hood eyes. Oh my gosh, she just got like. Oh no! Oh, look, look what we got now. Okay. <laughs> Maybe let's. Uh... I don't like this. It's a bad idea. <laughs> We need a stud finder. That's why we came to. Oh yeah, we're at a mire. I don't know if I said that. Oh, we're at a mire. Okay. Just kidding. Do you want to move to another one? So we have a. Well, there's only one other one we could try. I yeah. Um. Let's think. Oh. Okay. Well. I know. Do you want to try that one again? Uh -huh. I wonder if it's just oh, you know so why? There's cold. Ice in the bottom of this one too. Oh really? Yeah. You see really deep in there? That's why it's not wedging in. Ooh. So. Do you want to try it again? Have you seen the same thing with yours? Yeah. Oh, boy. Well. Oh, that bugged in. These things, see, that's the con to this. It's the stunt. You see the uh, snow, it's even like inside. You're blowing snow. So. Yeah, we here's had. Our, here's our cold weather review of the EA charge. <laughs> We I don't had think we've ever fast charge in this deep and cold, you know, even with the ID. Even in Minnesota? So, it wasn't this cold. It was pretty cold. No. Yikes. Okay, I well like, I don't like forcing it. Let's we're gonna stop and go to the other charger. That's yeah, let's we're gonna try and do two one cars down. Alright, so we just pulled up to charger four. Um that one was charger two, so we're gonna try these ones here. Let's do this quick because I can't yes. feel my fingers. Yeah, I, my legs are already freezing. Um, so this one, I did look. There's some snow that's still gotten here from the, you know, hey. from the blowing snow. But the charger here, there's no ice in this one. So let's try. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here. Yay! Yeah, click. Go. Okay. Yeah, that one clicked. So that, yeah, they need better weatherproofing. Because when, it, when it's negative three, this stuff's gonna freeze. You can't warm it up. You're cold, I'm cold, everyone's cold. The chargers are cold. <laughs> so, I have to, I need my fingerprint. Um, I'm gonna try to activate this with my EA app. So it shows, you know, it's, it, it did the little brief little handshake with the car. It's about to actually get real handshakes. This is charger number four. Super easy. You can activate it here. Processing payment. Let's see if it starts up. Still gotta make the trek across the parking lot to go get the stud finder for my TV mount too, so that's fun. Uh, but Meyer should be warm oh, inside. Tripping. So continue. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, EA. So we're expecting to pay for this one, but since we activated with my Electrified America, I have the ID4 charging plans. So actually, now that I think about it, it's showing zero plus zero dollars a minute. We'll see if it actually activates or, oh, wow. So it, EA doesn't tell, can't tell us it's not 94. I honestly, I was not trying to game the system here, I promise. But, you know, whoa. <laughs> uh, I was not trying to game the system here, but you know, wow, 27, that is really low. So hundred minutes left until 80%. Well, we um, don't need 80. We don't need 80, we're gonna go in, we'll uh, we'll monitor it through the app to see what the car is at. We should get you just to at least probably 50 or 60, I would say, yeah. at minimum. Yeah. Um, and then it's because the car is so cold. I don't have the OBD We're at in here right now. 15%. Yeah. So it's, it's even less than what I thought. It's not even pulling the peak. Yeah. So the fact that it's not even doing that, it's like, yeah, it's cold. It's, uh, just shows just how cold it is. The Volt already doesn't charge fast, but. Honestly, I don't even know if my ID4 would do much better with this cold of a battery. But anyway, we're freezing, so we're going to go inside. <laughs> we'll check in with you later. See you soon. Okay, so we're coming up on 45 minutes after successfully being able to plug in and charge. Um, pretty balmy here in, in Oak Creek still. Still at about negative three Fahrenheit. Uh, real feel. Um, looks like we got 31 kilowatts. <laughs> We really haven't increased that much in in charging speed. 
laughing in ID4. <laughs> and I thought, you know, the ID4 is not even the fastest charging EV on the market, but this is why Caitlin probably hasn't charged this thing at DC fast because it's just, well, especially in the winter, right? Like this should be doing faster. But yeah. But also, we really haven't driven it around much today. I think we've done a maximum of 30 to 40 minutes at most because we were yeah. moving out of the apartment this thing's every last cold. thing today. And it's getting colder. It's negative five now, feels like negative 25. And this is not even gonna be low for tonight. So again, we just, I, I'm like actually shocked 45 minutes. This is where we're at. Like that's, I, I was expecting it to be slow, but we're about at like probably a little over half the speed of what this car should be able to do. But really it's just so cool. Like 45 minutes to pump 19 kilowatts. This is like, only like three times faster than and we're 31 kilowatts right now i think that's the highest we've seen actually um since we've been here but i would think that uh that if it was peak you know fine conditions you'd have up to 80 percent by now because we're it's it's, it's like pretty half i know it's like i don't know what the bolt advertises yeah this is a 2019 right yep 2019 bolt lt it does have the 64 Right? That's what the new battery is, 64 kilowatt hours. Yes. I forgot what the old one is, but yeah. Uh, well, well, we'll let you know once we decide to leave. We'll probably hit 50 and then I think we should be good. Caitlin, what do you think? Yeah, right now at 45%, we're getting about 66 miles of guesstimated range. I do currently have an efficiency of 1.8 miles per kilowatt hour. So it's not terrible, especially given that we're only oh, driving oh huh. look at that here too we're not really driving that far and that long um it did it's fluctuating between high and medium for charge <laughs> power it's um, as it ticks between 30 and 31 it kilowatts <laughs> it just showed the charging what like the speed was where was that no it shows on your screen see oh yeah 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 that's where it's showing that shows how much is uh it shows as regen, yeah. it's not, which is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, which my biggest gripe about this car still is that the, none of the clusters show the battery percentage. Agreed. Um, I feel like you cannot accurately evaluate how much you're driving just based on the gasometer. Uh, so that is my, my one biggest pain. But I can see how much my charges at least with the region yeah i mean <laughs> like funny. honestly i mean the id4 up until the 3.1 software update did not even show you how what you know what the what the charge yeah. charge speed was you know mm -hmm. um you had to look at the charger so now we at least see so the electrify america app we have the climate on now it's showing 30 kilowatts with the cars fluctuating between like 25 26 mm -hmm. and it looks like as soon as it drops to 25 it goes to medium and then it <laughs> for charge power and then it goes up it's, it's just kind of funny um, but yeah, this is this is terribly slow considering we plugged in at what was it, 15? Yeah, we just plugged in 15%. at 15 percent. There's that 19 that, that it says there. Uh, somewhere somewhere in the 15 to 20 percent range, let's say. Mm -hmm. um, and it's 45 minutes or 47 minutes right now. We've only gone up to 46. Is that's insane? Like even the 94 cold soak would be faster than this. But again, that's what we see. We see battery technology improving. You know. This car fits a certain demographic of people, I would say, like Caitlin, who maybe there's a second car in the household that you do your road tripping in. For us, we don't need two crazy expensive cars. Would we like it? Sure, yeah, if we had unlimited money. But I mean, we just bought a house, so if we had two expensive cars, you probably couldn't have afforded the house. So, you know, it's just all about prioritizing. If you have somebody, if you even have a gas car and your bolt is your around town, you do one for a road trip, like, that's where we're at right now because yeah as you can see the charging experience is still not quite where we want to be so um but that's not ea's fault no that's, no, not at that's all. the the fault of what this car is asking for right this besides having ice and snow in the actual handles this has been a flawless experience yeah right we were able to plug in we were able to uh start the charge in the app and it connected it's did its handshake and we've been charging also observation because there's an 84 that looks like mine sitting behind you i do not like those rims as much as mine on the pro s plus that car is supposed to be the high-end one where they nerfed all the features off of it and i don't like them they, they look really good online but i don't like them as much as mine i like the there's too many lines too i like the I, there's like half the lines on mine it looks better Look at the look up the first edition ID4 if you care. But anyway, 
Um, we're not going to stay 39 minutes, but let's no. see, like, what is the estimate to go to 50? See, that's the thing. It's all, it's about, all about range versus percent. So like, oh, we're almost at 50. So what does it say now? Oh, current EV 70. range projected 70. So yeah, we'll, we'll set it to 50 and it looks like you can do a temporary override. I think that's for level two. Oh, charge complete zero minutes. So we're about there. So why don't we, we'll get unplugged and get on going, but that's how it is to charge a bolt in sub zero. I mean, the car is indicating negative one, phone is indicating negative five. The car is probably slightly warmer because it's been charging, but um, I, don't know where the a, I don't know where the temperature sensor is, but that's it's unscientific. It's not as exciting of charging my bolt for the first time on a Tesla supercharger, but that'll come. That will come <laughs> with we, the adapter. <laughs> we will get to do that first before the ID4. Oh, interesting. So it shows fully charged conditioning battery briefly there and oh, then it got rid of it. unlocked. Yep. It unlocked. So we, cool. because I set your target charge to oh, yeah. that. So. Well, with that, thanks again for coming to hang out with us on another Midwest EV video. Definitely let us know what kind of videos you want to see with the Chevy Bolt. The, the Bolt definitely has a stigma about being everyone's like first EVs, people that don't know anything about EVs. This is like what they get. Uh, but we do want to show the benefits of having a Bolt over the negatives that people see at these fast chargers. But let us know what kind of videos we're hoping to do a road trip video in it this summer. We're not going to do it in the winter based on this right away. Well, it's funny because <laughs> 70 miles is 50%. Yeah, right That's now, absurd. Yeah. Like yeah. even, I think, I mean, granted, this has a smaller battery. We always ramble on and on about the technicals. If you don't like it, log off the video. That's fine. But um, 70 miles uh, of 50% range, mm -hmm. or 70 miles at 50% state of charge. Mm -hmm. I mean, my car would be the same right now, but yours has a smaller battery. So that just shows the efficiency of the Bolt. So like if you, yeah. you know, that's just, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in another video, I'm sure, but just yeah. efficiency in general. But anyway, any, any last will, words? Yeah. For now, we'll say goodbye and see you soon. Sayonara. Bye guys.